What if I told you that one extremely rare event will cause a major loss of life very soon? That would be troubling, right? Well, here's what we know. In the world that we live in today, there is no shortage of devastating events. Recently, there was another rare but devastating event. Here's what I can tell you. Experts are now saying that these rare occurrences will happen more and more. But why? And what is this rare event that we are referring to? Well, the rare event is that that recent train derailment in uh, East Palestine, uh, Ohio. According to experts, the incident that we have you know, seen recently, these are now becoming far too common. And the reason is actually pretty simple. Trains are now just far too long. They require less time for inspection. We have seen cuts to railroad workforce. And all of this combined makes trains less safe than in years past. Now, let's just take the most recent train derailment, for example. The train that derailed in uh, East Palestine, Ohio, this was a major disaster. Major disaster. They're still trying to clean it up. There was also a controlled explosion of chemicals that, that many residents, they worried about, uh, and they are continuing to worry about their groundwater and their air quality nearby. But according to the EPA, things are perfectly fine. But it is because of the train itself that people living near any train track are extremely worried. Because again, trains are getting longer than ever before. We're also seeing more cargo shipped by rail. That means there's more weight that is on these trains, especially when it comes to hazardous material, simply because hazardous material is safer to transport by rail than by you know, a truck. Now, according to reports, Trains are the safest form of travel when it comes to transportation for large amounts of hazardous material. It's because of this that freight trains have moved more than 2.2 million carloads of chemicals since 2021. That's, that's a lot. It's a lot of uh, freight. Now, here's what we know. According to an agency website, they say railroad incidents only cause 14 deaths from 1994 to 2005. In that same time span, there were 116 deaths that happened uh, because of hazardous material spilling on highways. Now, here's where things get more problematic. According to a report, railroad workers are pushing back against hauling extremely long trains with hazardous material because if they were trying to stop, and again, you have a heavy train, they will not be able to stop quick enough. If they are going too fast, if whatever, right? If there was just something on the track, flip the train, right? This creates a problem. Now, if railroad workers get their way, the load would have to either be broken up, and if it's broken up, this means that the cost would increase for the railroad. So according to one community member um, who actually owns their own shipping company, I've talked about uh, this person in the past, especially when there was that the potential uh, railroad strike. Um, but she said that in recent months, they have started receiving shipments of hazardous material to her shipping company. She's a trucking company. She does not own, uh, she doesn't do trains, okay? But she said in recent months, there's been hazardous material showing up. And the reason for this, according to her, she says, Transporting hazardous materials is not the safest thing to do with a truck, but the amount that we can charge for a quick shipment is worth the risk. Now, this is why I'm saying this rare event is going to cause a major loss of life. And it's because of some companies, again, and I completely understand this, okay? I completely get why a company would do this, but this is part of the problem. Experts are now saying that the loss of life will be much uh, more than what we are used to seeing. And it's because some of these companies are seeing dollar signs and not necessarily caring about the risks or the money, okay, the potential profit is going to outweigh the losses and the risk. That's interesting. And that is why I wanted to bring this up because this 
this one train derailment in uh, East Palestine, Ohio, th this is concerning to you know, people in the area. But what if, and again, if railroads are the, the, the you know, safest form of travel for hazardous material, but now because of potentially having to break up a shipment, okay, break, break up a load, or if they're trying to move uh, products quickly from one location to the next and they just go by truck, guess what? This could be, this could be very risky. And this is why some are saying that even though it's a rare occurrence that we are going to see this, you know, a spill or a leak or whatever, it can still hurt the environment and it could kill people. That's the problem. So I just want to fill you in on what's going on because when I reached out to this person to you know, pretty much just see what's going on, it wasn't about this train derailment. Okay. And that's what, you know, she mentioned was, it's worth it for her company. She has a small company. If, if this is worth it for her company, it's probably gonna be worth it for a larger company that can move more hazardous material. So again, just keep that in mind because if we are seeing this from a smaller scale, I guarantee you it's happening at a much larger scale. We just don't know it. So that's what's happening at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise, I'll come back on and share all latest news and updates again. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.